Thank you, Council. My name is Tom Morris. I live at 111 Dogwood Drive. Uh, Council, we seem to have two public relations problems on our hands that I'd like to address. Uh, hopefully we can take some steps to correct them. First and foremost, uh, and most noticeable, is our town's currently, as you've heard, a bit of an embarrassment. We're much better than we have been. The actions of this council in recent weeks have been deplorable, unfortunate, and absolutely a joke. I hope the remaining members of the Fitzgerald Four that know that when the news broke of their scripted middle finger in the city meeting last week, that was when it was deemed improper, most of this town was literally laughing at you. As an aside, never try to feign surprise at something you already have a prepared acceptance speech for. We seem to be on the right track now, and hopefully this problem will be solved with a few weeks of stalemates and the replacement of some members on council in the November election. The second, and almost as glaring a problem, is that we're still paying for a public relations officer. The man over there getting paid more than $2 a minute to just sit here in the room with us. This man was hired with the unenviable task of trying to improve the image of a mayor who was acting as much like a movie villain as he looked. But thankfully, the PRO's failure to do so at all was our city's success. Instead of casting our city in a better light, we have paid over $10,000 to sign up for a few social media accounts. Congratulations, we've spent five figures in several months accomplishing what a seventh grader does in an afternoon. Over $10,000, I had to watch this council fight like toddlers over a similar amount for a city to maintain actual, tangible land on the other side of town, and yet we seem fine to throw away much more money uh, for me to be reminded to pay my already automatically withdrawn water bill. Thanks for that. $125 an hour to have lunch with a resident and receiving nothing in return. These actions are deceitful, duplicitous, and if not illegal, at the very least grossly unethical. A good example is on the June 20, on June 27th, we endured a hilariously embarrassing, a house divided cannot stand, so I'm going home now, council meeting. I hope the mayor acted alone on that one, but if any of you had a hand in that, you are a disgrace to our city, though I digress. The meeting lasted seven minutes and was a travesty. Seven minutes. And for that meeting, we were charged $531.25. Almost $76 per minute of meeting. I'd like to think I could do well for myself, but I could never build clients like that since I was unfortunately imbued at birth with a conscience. Maybe it took more than four hours trying to shyster a positive spin on something so mind-mummingly dumb, but all we needed was the blurb that went through town of grown man acts like child is unfit for his position. We have a volunteer committee that can handle this. We've heard tonight from several people in town that are very eloquent, passionate, well-spoken people that can handle this. We just need to let them do the job that they want to do. Besides, it's not like we're paying a premium for quality. I know the residents of the city can work together and get accurate, relevant, and most importantly, unbiased information disseminated to the community. Please, Council, I ask you to step up and then one of the remaining vestiges of the previous mayorship and move to end this agreement with the public relations officer. I'm hoping that there's not anyone pulling strings anymore and everyone here can form their own opinion now, hopes to have a chance for re-election, realize that this is a terrible deal for the city and votes accordingly. And if saving us thousands of dollars a month seems like too much work for Council right now, I ask the residents of the city to not follow or visit any of the city's social media pages until this problem is fixed. We don't really need them the way they're acting right now. We're clearly able to get news out among ourselves. There's nothing of merit to be seen on the city's PR pages anyway, and maybe council will be less willing to give away our money to a man that's just screaming into the void of the internet without an audience. And certainly don't post, call, or ask him anything. Every who wrote this I see on Facebook, and he responds to costs us around a penny for every single resident in Loveland. We don't need these public relations problems. Our city is much, much better than this and moving in improved direction. I'm happy to hear what I'm hearing tonight. I'm happy to see the actions that we're taking. We need to keep building on this positive momentum and end this PR agreement. It's not needed. It tarnishes our city's name further. It's fiscally reckless to continue it, and we need to correct it right away. Thank you very much.